Hey everybody, I hope y'all doing well today. I'm doing better than I have been. I'm still not 100%. Uh, I kind of don't want to say I'm ever 100% because it seems like the world just sucks shit on you. Uh, and you do. Anyways, this is my June uh, 2019 DVD and Blu-ray pickups. Um, I apologize for the fan, but if I cut it off, I would probably black out in the middle of this video. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, I do want to preface one other thing. I went to my local, well, not local, local, but a flea market within an hour's drive. I had to take my mother and my aunt uh, because they were getting uh, silk flowers for uh, decoration at a, at a graveyard. And I hadn't been there in a long time. And I said, but well, good chance to maybe find some out of print movies or this, that, the other. I'd never in a million years thought they had uh, bootlegs and I probably should have but flea market's just not my bag usually I mean thrift stores yeah but flea market a lot of times you know if it's actual legitimate uh, stuff they've not taken care of it so the movie's not gonna play or you know it's a hassle but the first uh, first good bit of this is going to be bootlegs uh, and I don't know if I'll get any well I'll probably get a few more over time if there's something that's out that I'm interested in but I don't want to spend the money right away and most of these I'm pretty sure at some point I'm going to buy a legitimate copy uh, just because you know I want to support the people that made it but sometimes 20 bucks is too much for this whole boy anyways first off giving a big middle finger to Disney Captain Marvel not a terrible movie for what I paid for it and I'm just I, I like comic books and I like Marvel stuff but I'm not as I'm not such a fan that I have to go out and buy it uh, I'll watch it they're entertaining but the only reason I bought this because all these boots were four dollars for four dollars yes I would add it to my collection um, us they keep saying this is the best horror movie ever maybe written and directed by a comedian from Comedy Central it's actually made it through us unlike uh, his previous movie Get Out, I've still never finished it. It puts me to sleep. Maybe they're good, I just don't. It feels like to me, if you say they're not good, some people will come out and say, well, you're racist. No, I just, I have my taste in movies. The characters could be switched around, in, at least to us, and I still wouldn't care for them. Uh, as far as like race and stuff like that. Uh, book smart I will buy this because this is a really good little movie I was really happy to find this uh, it's like one of those small movies that you would wonder why they would boot anyway because how many people are jumping all over themselves to get that movie illegally I got this because there's no way I was going to pay a lot of money for it but for what I paid for it uh, Happy Time Murders was actually okay if you like crunchy, silly stuff, it's okay. And Melissa McCarthy is okay. And I got uh, Captive State. Uh, not a bad little movie about aliens that take over. Sort of like, uh, it's in, in ways it's like that USA show Colony. You really don't see a lot of the aliens, but it's better than Colony because you actually do see a little bit of them and you do actually see their impact much more. Um, I know you're saying, God damn, how many of these to get? I think I got seven all together, or no, I got uh, six, six, nine all together. Uh, Greta, I've not watched this yet, but, uh, I'll probably end up buying that if I like it, because, you know, I was interested in it when it came out in the movies, but I wasn't going to pay 20 bucks. Uh, I'll probably buy this, uh, House of Jack Bill. I just wanted to give it look see before I spent a lot of money on the blu-ray which I think the only unrated is from the UK and you know if I'm going to import something I want it to be good 
I'm glad that I bought this, the beach bum, for cheap. It's Matthew McConaughey kind of playing his Wooderson character, kind of trying to be like several other characters. It's not that good, and I like stoner movies, but it just kind of falls flat. And it's got Snoop Dogg in a pretty big role, too. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's just... It's only an hour and a half long, and it seems like it's an hour too long. It seems like it would be a very good short time. Uh, picked up the babysitter. There's, there's no official release of this. I knew they had bootlegs there when I found this, because I found this by itself at first. Uh, that is the end of the legal section of the video. You may now return to the legal section if you did want to <laughs> see legal stuff. Um, got this silver saddle uh, and now I own all of Lucio Fulci's uh, westerns. I haven't watched it yet, uh, but probably will soon because I like to watch Fulci. Got this uh, La Rose in, in Roche. Uh, French horror flick. I got it from Mondo Macabro. Um, it just sounded interesting. I don't know anything about it, but it sounded interesting. So I picked it up. Um, Slaughterhouse Rules. This it says it makes Shaun of the Dead look restrained. Now it's it's got you know uh, Nick Frost and Simon Pegg from Shaun of the Dead. It's okay. Uh, it's like a teeny boppery type movie. It's not bad. It's just nowhere near the caliber of Shaun of the Dead. In any way, shape, or form. Emmanuel in America. I love Laura Grimser, so I buy anything that has her in it. This is the limited uh, case from Mondo Macabro. I'm sure they have a wide release at some point. Uh, I just find it funny that um, they did so many movies where she's just basically a reporter or a random thing and then she has sex with somebody. And last but not least, just showing you the cover, the 4K scan of a New York Ripper. Uh, love that movie, so of course I had to get it. That's all I've got. Uh, next month will probably be bootleg free. <laughs> I've not got that much so far this month. Uh, I do have a Italian ripoff cover that I will show you next month, but it's actually legally bought. Anyways, we'll see y'all on Friday, and I'm still trying to upload the video uh, for uh, my German video. But I made it so big that it takes about six hours to upload, and I keep trying to upload it too late in the afternoon you know like I started like 9 o'clock and then realized about 12.30 I need to go to bed and keep having to cancel it so that will probably come up on the weekend anyways we'll see y'all this may go up tonight this may go up tomorrow whenever it does I hope y'all have a great day we'll see y'all